Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Alrighty, I'm taking a look at the A4E again after posting my introduction to the A4 video yesterday. Um, one of the developers popped up on Reddit and said, Hey man, by the way, you're probably running an older version of the module, which I hadn't realized. And he said the newer version um, updates some of the issues that I was experiencing, like the uh, missing uh, 3D models for the uh, armaments under my wings. And also, uh, I believe he said it was to add some instant action missions that were missing as well. So what I've done is, as soon as I got home from work here, I uh, jumped in here, I downloaded the new version, and uh, let's take a look. Yes, there is another mission in here. So Carrier Launch wasn't here before. Let's go to Nevada, nothing. Normandy, nothing. Persian Gulf, aha! So there are none for Nevada or Normandy, but for the default map you get Carrier Launch in addition to these. And for Persian Golf, you've got Free Flight Takeoff, Cold Start, Cold Start, and Carrier Launch. Let's try the Carrier Launch and see how that goes. Uh, one of the other things that I read in the README for this updated version is that uh, you no longer have to uh, monkey around and uh, hook up to the uh, cat. Uh, we should be ready to go as uh, soon as we load in. So let's see how well that works. Alrighty, here we are at the Persian Gulf launch from the carrier mission. And if we take a look around, it looks like we have a bunch of other A4s hanging out as well. Very cool. Um, visually, it doesn't look like I'm hooked up still. Um, but if I go full throttle, it's going to hunker down a little bit and it's going to launch me. And also, if you noticed, it looks like the launch was a lot smoother and it kept me um, right down the middle. It didn't kind of throw me off axis like it did before. Very cool stuff. So this is another one of the instant action missions that they give you from the start now, since I have the updated version of the module plugged in. A nice free flight over the Persian Gulf, always fun. Turn on my cockpit lighting, that makes a difference. Wow, that looks good. I had a slight micro stutter for a second there. Kind of weird. I almost never get that in 2D. Zoom. The model actually looks a little nicer, too. It looks cleaner. Alrighty, as you can see externally, it looks like the issue that I was having with the um, armaments not showing up under my wings has been fixed with the updated version of the module. Very cool stuff.
and it looks absolutely grand. That was close. Very nice. So it looks like my napalm's showing up properly. I almost think the uh, models look a little bit nicer now. Alright, I see a dot out there. That's got to be my bombers. Yes. Okay. Sounds better. Oh, there we go. One of them hit him. Now. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, MiG-19. I think I've got to reset the master arm switch, so that issue... God damn, stick is in the way. Yep, that issue still exists. Um, my tone seemed more consistent, for the most part, but I definitely have to reset it. So that seems like an ongoing issue. Oh... That's going to leave a mark. Looks like they got some more work to do on the damage model, though. Because stuff just isn't breaking apart. Looks like I just got some flame on my tips of my wings there. So anyways, it looks like the new version definitely addresses a couple of my concerns that I had in the first video. One is being the 3D models for the armaments appear to be playing nice now. Um, two, I thought the Sidewinder growl was a little better or more consistent, but it still seems that after you fire one and hit something, or I don't know what the condition is that causes it, but you do have to flip the master arm on and off to get the Sidewinder to growl again. So there's that. Uh, but they have, however, added instant action missions for it under the Persian Gulf and the Caucasus map. Uh, no Normandy in Nevada. I thought they said they had something for Nevada, but it's not showing up for some reason. But we do have a carrier launch and uh, for both Persian Gulf and Caucasus, which is pretty cool. Um, awesome for those guys, man. Like I said, I apologize for you know not having the latest version. I didn't know there was a newer version. I've had this installed for a while and don't remember hearing any updates. Um, I did think I heard them say something about some more updates coming recently, but then when I dug around, I couldn't find that, so I don't know. I'm going to have to get a hold of those guys and see what the story is on this. But uh, other than that, uh, some of the gripes I had in yesterday's video have definitely been addressed by updating to the latest version, and I guess that latest version is 1.3.1. So I'm going to continue on. I, I have a couple more videos that I've put together that uh, won't be affected by having running the older version. 
and I'm going to try to make a couple using this newer version as well. So that is my update for the A4E community mod and uh, look forward to some more videos on this and uh, give it a shot man I think it's pretty cool and uh, I got some more content coming for this in the coming days. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to hit that like button. And until next time.